been there. Look, he's got a big old leech. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm out in the woods with my two dogs Monty and Ruger and we're going to spend a couple nights out here. The temperatures are bitterly cold, the high is 7 Fahrenheit which is right now for the whole trip which is what, negative 14 Celsius and that's the high. Um, with wind chill it's going to be much colder than that. So I'm going to be setting up the hot tent for the first time ever, I've never used one before so we're going to be using that to stay warm and then we're going to cook up some gourmet delicious campfire food. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Come on boys, let's go. Okay, we're gonna set up the tent right here. <sighs> There's a lot of weight on this sled. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. And not to mention, uh, before I even parked my car, I had to do work. I'm not camping exactly where I was planning to. I had to shovel out uh, a path on uh, the deep snow right by where they plowed just to get onto the start of a two track and then I got a little ways on the two track and it was just too deep couldn't go any further so I just had to park the truck and walk down the two track a bit and walk into the woods and here we are so it's pretty thick in here it's very thick I was hoping to get to an open maple stand but I couldn't make it that far on the two track that's miles so we're, we're camping here so so as far as these two dogs go, um, you know Monty winter camps all the time, he's used to it. Ruger is not so used to it. So as long as he's moving around, running around, playing with sticks, jumping around, he's totally fine. But if he sits still too long and gets cold, maybe like three, four hours, he's gonna start to get cold. So that's why I brought out the hot tent and I brought him. This is his first time winter camping. Um, he hasn't been camping since summer. So I'm pretty excited for him. He's, he loves the snow, he loves it out here, he's having a blast. So, as long as I get this tent set up in a reasonable amount of time, he'll be totally fine. But first things first, we gotta stomp out this ground. Get the stick, get the stick. What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. There you go. Watch out, Roos. Now the ground is a hair uneven, so I'm going to take some of this snow, put it down here. Watch out, Rooks. Ruger. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to get out the tent and we're going to see if this is enough room to set her up here. Okay. Maybe I should leave them on. <laughs> Maybe I'll leave these on. Or I'm gonna make my ground all uneven. This is my first time setting this up. I've never set this up before or a hot tent in general. So we are about to do a little learning experience. 
shouldn't be too crazy hard, I don't think. I hope. But uh, I'm a, I'm slightly pressed for time. Slightly. It's taken me all day to get out here. I got up when it was dark, and uh, how much time do I have till it's dark? Hour and a half, roughly. And it's sunny and bright out, so I, I will get a little extra time of dust. But oh my, my snowshoe's coming off. But I pretty much am just gonna get this thing set up, and we are going to. Uh, let's see. Here. So the goals for tonight are to just set this thing up, process a whole bunch of firewood, and relax. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna do a little hiking around, gather some more firewood, and we're gonna cook meals in between. Throw the stick for the boys. You know the boys. Right, Monty. Ruger's gonna keep Monty busy. Monty's not used to the Ruger factor out here. <laughs> yeah, that's our thing. All right, let's see what we got here. This is not the door. This is not the door. This is the door. So I'll put the door right here. This is gonna take some pedangling. <laughs> I'm probably uh, opening this in the least efficient way possible, but that's okay. That's why next time, I'll know not to do it like this. Okay, before I go any further, I need five nice sticks to use as pegs. That is the next step. Can't do anything without those pegs. Now mark my words. This guy, I'll bet money on it that he's gonna be ripping these out of the ground. <laughs> no. Ruger, oh, don't even look at me like that. You got that devious look in your eyes already. And he's just gonna start stealing sticks. Hey! Jeez! Give it a minute! Come on! Can't even make it 30 seconds. Gonna take some messing around here. Actually, just no. My peg has broke. Hey, those are my pegs. You dirty turds. Do that one there, do this one here, those two over there. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, one more on this side. Simple enough, simple enough. All right, now I've got to open it up and I've got to get a stick about eight feet tall and uh, prop her up in the middle. Okay, this stick was literally sitting right behind my camera. Let's see. 
Oh, it's punky on that end. It's not punky right here. We did it about that tall. Let's see if that's... Oh, that's solid there. All right, I need to get my saw. Get a nice flat bottom. Now, it's only so let's say it goes down that deep. We'll cut it right there to start because we don't want it to go too short. If uh, worst case scenario, I'll find some logs to set on it underneath on the ground. If it doesn't work at this height, but we'll test it right here. Okay, let's check it out now. All right, let's see if this is the right height. Or it's a little too tall. It's probably too tall to start. Oh, that's okay. Pretty good. Now, see, I've never done this here before. Well, I am going to start tying lines and we're going to see if this thing, see, the stick is a little wobbly. I'm just not 100% sure how it's supposed to be. I've never done this before. I don't watch any videos or anything. I'm just winging it. Just, we're just going. So let's start tying lines. Let's tie lines. It'll it'll pretty up. You know, I really love that they they went with uh, white paracord for the guidelines for this because you know as you're walking around the tent, especially the dogs, they'll just run into it and yank the whole thing down. <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. Um, I'm going to use my orange paracord. Ever since my, uh, ever since that video, what was it, Camping in the Ray, I made the Pudgy Pies, and I lost my paracord for a good 10 minutes because it was green and the ground was green and just couldn't find it. I've went to Orange, I've taken your guys' advice. And one thing I have not taken anyone's advice on is the rat's nest. Um, yeah, you can give me all the suggestions you want, but I have so much fun detangling paracord let me tell ya let me tell ya Tell you what, it's gonna be super fun if I don't get this thing set up before it gets dark and I have to find all my firewood for all night in the dark. Yeah, it'll be fun. We're losing daylight. We are losing daylight. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> No! <laughs> Why? Why is the ends gonna be all here? Dang it! <laughs> That's my rat's nest. Where were we? Where were we? Oh yeah. I was having trouble getting this untangled. There we go. We got an end. Woo! Woohoo!
Oh, they're making me nervous. Already. Let's see here. You know, it's coming together. Um, I'm thinking what I'm gonna need to do is probably, oh, Ruger. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need a taller piece there. Uh, it seems a little loose. Let's see if I do this. Oh no, maybe if I pull all these out. All right, I'm just gonna keep tying lines here, get this all prettied up. And then we're going to need to cut firewood pretty soon here. So, you know, like I said, I've never set this up before. For some reason, I've got, it's loosey-goosey here. Right here. <laughs> okay, for now, that's going to do. But well, we've got loosey-goosiness right here, like I said. Everything else is good except for that one spot. And I don't know if it's because this is. I'll try wiggling the stick around in there, but uh, for now, it's it's set up pretty good. Let's see what we got first. Watch out, guys! Oh yeah. We got plenty of room in here. Okay, so that of course took a little longer than it should have. So now I've got to uh, cut some firewood. What, 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 ah, 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 ah. what I'm going to do is look for some uh, hardwoods uh, that I can bring back here. I'm gonna bring back a few logs, probably four or five, just to be safe and get tons of stuff for firewood for tonight so I can process it in the dark, whatever I need to do. But I need to get some logs back here so I'm not romping around for them in the dark. So let's get some firewood. Hey boys, come on. Oh. oh, this thing. Woo! Well, that was easy. Watch out, Roots. All right, Roots. Get back. Get back. Get back. Back up. Back up. Back up. Stay. Good boy. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven pieces of hardwood. Got a little pine branches and stuff. Um, now I'm going to cut up a couple pieces to stick under my stove because I am on snow and it's probably going to sink as it melts. So cut two pieces. We'll get the stove set up in there. Then I'm going to start processing firewood while I get this thing warmed up and kind of get it going as I'm processing firewood. Because I'm going to be doing this until the dark. 
this is all hardwood. I'm gonna need a bunch of wood tonight because I wanna keep it toasty in there. Oh. All right, now I just need a couple pieces. Let's see here. Almost as long as this. Not quite though. This is just to set the stove on. So we'll say right there. Right there is where they need to be. About that long. Okay, now I'm going to set up the stove. Well, these to go right here. The stove melts and stuff. We're gonna have to even this out, but for now, pound these down. It's gonna come out a little bit. never set this up before. I'm assuming it's got to be this way. It's got to be leveled out a little bit. You know, I'm a little confused as to why the stove hole is right by the door. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense. Doesn't at this particular time. All right, I'm gonna switch how the stove is set up. Well, well this is fun. <laughs> See, I used the wood stove. My my, uh, I burned it out in my uh, driveway. But I've never set it up like this. So this is uh, taking some fedangling. There. Let's see you get it. It'll be close. Okay. So the first lesson I learned with this thing is is to not. Grab the door handle after it's been burning for a couple hours with your bare hand. It's not a good idea. So you're supposed to put like an inch of sand they said on the bottom, but I'm not gonna drag out sand. So what I did is I cut a few of these angle bars. This is just some kind of bar I got at the hardware store. Uh, I cut it up and I put three of them wide ways and then there's a 16 gauge welding plate in there to raise it up about an inch. So that's what I did. Seemed to work just fine. Nothing really warped. Okay, now I gotta put this thing Gotta get this up through here. It's gonna be easier to glove off. Let's 
getting dark. I had to assemble that first. And these just reduce as they go up. So we'll see. close we were. Looks like not super close. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I gotta adjust the logs again. I'm just a hot mess right now. <laughs> Sun's going down. <laughs> oh. Then I just got this thing, goes up to the top. It just doesn't seem as sturdy as I want it to be. Okie dokie. So, now that this is all taken care of, <laughs> finally it's dark. I've got all my wood here. I'm gonna cut up some kindling quick. We're gonna get a fire going in this thing. And then uh, I'm gonna keep processing wood as this heats up give the boys a spot to lay down in here with their sleeping pads so they can start to get toasty. You know, they'll have a nice little spot. We gotta get this thing going quick. So, let's start by getting a little kindling. All right, we're gonna start off with some pine just to get it ripping, and then we'll throw in some hardwood afterwards. <laughs> I guess I didn't record any of that. <laughs> I started the fire. Well, I had the fire started, but uh, I threw too much stuff in there and I had the camera in the way, so it, uh, I think it put itself out. So we're gonna throw in a little, another piece of little birch bark here. Should get the party started. That one out too.
Okie dokie. So I've got the fire going. Um, it's getting nice and toasty in there. Starting to get a coal bed built. I am going to give the, the boys a spot to lay it down because it is cold out. And now my priority number one is to give them a spot. I don't think they're really going to want to lay in there. Monty will, probably. But uh, Ruger's just having fun chewing on sticks. I don't think he's going to want to stop. But yeah, um, it could be a little tighter set up. It's, it's good. It's standing. It's going to be great till tomorrow. But I think tomorrow I'm going to fix it up and just tighten things out. Uh, there should be plenty enough room for tonight. We'll see. But like I said, it's my first time setting this up. I had no idea what I was doing. It's up. We got a fire going. That's what matters. I'm having fun. But I'm getting them set up, and then I'm going to process up, a t process up a ton of firewood as soon as I'm ready to go. And that's going to take a little bit. That's going to take a good hour and a half of just sawing logs. So that'll be fun. Come on in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. <laughs> Lay down. It's not going to be perfect yet, guys. This is going to be chaos fitting <laughs> these dogs in here. There you go. Monty's right next to the heat. Hi. All right, you're gonna have to lay down. Go lay down, lay down, Rooks. All right, I am going to zip them up in here. Just leave the vent open so I can peek in here. And let them toast up. So I couldn't handle it anymore, and it was too loosey-goosey, and I didn't like it, so I just had to mess around. And I realized the importance of these strings going they can't be raised up like that. They have to be like 90 degrees, like flat. And that helped pull out the corners so much. There's a lot more room. It's a little bit not perfect on this side, but messing around with those strings helped a lot. Let's take a peek at our two doggies here. How they're doing. Hey boys. Oh, you two are precious. Look at you two. Just basking in the glory of the heat. Oh, rogues. You were doing so good in there. Oh no, my camera's fogging up. Oh no. Everything's a little chaotic right now. <laughs> oh, they're, still, they're still there. As I was saying, everything is a little chaotic right now. Um, right now, there's just two sleeping pads thrown in there. I've got uh, some nice logs on there going. Luckily, the two dogs are chilling in the tent. Monty's totally at home. He was ready to crawl in there. He knows He knows what's up. He likes tents. If he gets a little nip to him, he's ready to run in there <laughs> and relax. Ruger, on the other hand, wants to be glued to my side at all times. So he's, he's having a little trouble sitting in there, but when I peek in there, they're both still sitting on the sleeping pad. It's nice and toasty in there. It's good. So I'm glad for that. Um, what is chaotic right now is that I've never slept in a tent in wintertime. This is my first tent experience, my first hot tent experience, my first winter camping with Ruger experience, and the coldest these two have ever camped before. <laughs> so there's a lot on the plate right now. And my biggest struggle is going to be fitting all three of us in there comfortably and uh, yeah, because it's on snow and it's it's not packed yet. Um, it was fluffy snow, fluffy ground. I should have probably, see the thing was the ground was a little uneven so I had to dig, you know, put some snow on the side where the door is. So that's going to be fun. So what I'm going to do right now is just sop a ton of firewood. Like I was saying, I'm just going to get this going. I've got a little nip about me, but I know as soon as I start sawing into this, I get halfway through this, I'm going to be sweating probably from sawing all this wood, but um, 
yeah, it's going to be fun fitting as much as I can in there comfortably, uh, moving things around, putting down tarps. We're going to see how all that's going. This is all an experiment. This is all new, um, you know, and th the backup plan is if it's too cold for Ruger, I've got my watch sit sitting on a sleeping pad down by the ground to see how cold it is. If it's, I'm gonna, I'm, I plan on giving enough wood to have it just rip and toast in there the whole time, the whole night. So it's gonna take a lot of firewood. Um, if the, if it gets too cold, I brought them out sleeping bags and their own sleeping pads. So we'll wrap them up. If it's too cold, we'll head home. Yada yada yada. Tonight it should be good. We'll see. I will hike out of here in the dark if I have to, if they are too cold. But let's not let that happen. I'm gonna keep it ripping in there. Anyways, let's saw up some firewood, deal with some more mess in a bit. Okay, well, I just sawed up a whole bunch of firewood and the dogs have just been relaxing. As you can see, they are passed out for the most part. Well, well let's get into focus here. Rugs is tuckered out. Monty is tuckered out. What I did is I combined their two slipping pads, put their wool blanket over it. So they got a nice little spot they can both sit next to the warmth. I've got a whole bunch of firewood. That whole half is uh, hardwoods. This whole half is pine. So it's not all hardwood, but there's there should be plenty there for, for the night. If there's not, uh, I guess I will get up and chop more to keep these boys warm. But uh, they are... It is nice and toasty in here. I'm very warm. Uh, warmer than I'd like to be, but this is for Rubes and Monty. This is this is to keep them warm. I'm toasty. I could go outside right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's it's a little bit cluttered. So I'm not I'm not sure exactly how we're going to be sleeping tonight. What my guess is is because I'm going to be stoking the fire all night long. Is that I'm going to set up right here where these two guys are. That's where I'm going to lay. Ruse is going to lay right here, and we will put Monty actually right here because he will sleep like a rock no matter what. Um, so I won't have to mess with him too much. As long as he's got a nice spot like where I'm sitting right now, I'll just put my chair outside tonight. We'll figure it out. But I'm just going to relax for a minute here. Um, think about how to cozy this place up where I'm gonna stick my camera other than holding it because I've I don't usually deal with small cramped quarters like this I could pull out the GoPro but I'm gonna try to stick to DSLR the whole time we're gonna make it work but uh, I'm debating which meal to cook up tonight I'm probably gonna cook up the super delicious one tonight because I feel like it <laughs> but yeah it's definitely getting late so we're gonna relax for a minute
What's up there? What's up there, Rugs? <laughs> We're getting some serious smoke in here. Oh, man. <laughs> I can barely breathe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's my lens fogging up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I was just about to get ready to make food and I just been relaxing, chilling by the warmth and uh, we're getting some serious fog in my lens and it's deep in there. I had it originally on just like the outside of Frosted Up. As many of you may be able to tell, I'm not an expert with the DSLR. I got mine about a year ago. Maybe not even, I haven't had a DSLR even a year actually. But I am no professional with it. So this is new to me, this whole frosting up going from the freezing cold to something hot uh, this quick. Normally, you know, I'm just out winter camping and it stays cold the whole time, so it's not a big deal. If you get some frost on there, then you just warm it up by the fire on the outside. But it got chilled to the core and now it's, wait, is it starting to dissipate? I think it's starting to dissipate. Anyways, I'm gonna wait to dinner till, to, I'm gonna wait to prepare dinner until this fog in the center goes away. I think it just needs to warm up. I'm going to zoom in my lens and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> okay. So, it finally <laughs> took about an hour to get that fog out of there. Uh, it's been a minute. So, we're going to start preparing dinner. I am just enjoying this. It's, it's, um, it's taken me a little bit getting used to uh, it gets really hot, then it gets, you know, it starts to cool off, then it gets really hot again. But it is very nice, uh, a hot tent. This is awesome. You know, it is bitterly cold outside, and I am just toasty. This is the first time I've, uh, you know, been camping in such cold weather and just been, like, this comfortable. This is, this is like, luxury comfortable. This is awesome. So, I am preparing a delicious old meal today, but I'd like to get some more light in here. Let's... We've got a, a light-up device I've been meaning to try. This Yuko light. Now, how do I light this thing? Aha! That is how you light it. There goes a plane. There it goes. There, that adds a little light. Nothing crazy, let's see if I can put it right here. The uh, LED light adds a lot more light. Let's see here. It's very dim. Uh, right now, maybe it'll get a little bit brighter. This will be good before I go to bed or if I let it burn throughout the night. But, uh, isn't doing a ton. So this is, this is, this, this thing for right now, I'm, I'm probably going to put it back out. We're going to give it a minute here. But, uh, for preparing food and stuff, I'm going to use my other light. This thing will be nice. I did bring a book with me. I'll probably re use this when I'm reading for, for bed, maybe. Definitely gives it a nicer feel. Oh, Rugus. All right. We'll see if it brightens up. I'll give it a few minutes. But this thing definitely provides a lot of light. What's this? Monty is just out like a light. <laughs> Rooks is getting intrigued by the noises of boiling water. Right, Rooks? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> yeah, that Yuko light. Um. It's providing light, it's nice. Um, it's got a nice glow. 
this thing is kind of overtaking so I kind of I, I might put it out just because I don't want to like waste it when it's being overtaken by all the other light and I got this because I want to see the process oh, there's more light even more light oh, that's too much light that's too much light it's too bright in here oh we could do uh What is that, a camel? <laughs> Whatever that's called. Anyways, so I'm going to cook up some uh, beef stroganoff. No, venison stroganoff is what I'm cooking tonight. I'm going to cook it a little unorthodox because I feel a little, you know, cramped. I don't want to, like, when I'm outside and I can move around around the fire and cook all different... I'm just going to kind of throw everything together and cook it up that way. But before we start anything... I brought out a little tummy warmer, thanks to uh, T Y'all Outdoors. Thanks for the sweet flask. This thing's I like this thing. Okay, let's prepare some stuff here. This isn't the best flattest surface but it's gonna have to do hmm it's it's really difficult <laughs> why is it so difficult <laughs> I'm gonna save the other half of this for tomorrow's dinner That white onion cut up. Mm-hmm. Add that to my pot. And then next we've got some mushroom smash! Smash! That'll do. Might as well do some more mushrooms. These ones will we'll make these ones not as pretty as the last ones. <sighs> That's my new favorite thing. <laughs> nice chunk of butter I'm gonna add to the pot there. Oops. And then we've got to take care of our furry companion. Oh wait, oh wait, that's not all. We've got a couple cloves of garlic to add in there. Save this for tomorrow. Just, this is not the best knife for this. This thing's a little flimsy because it's long. To smush your garlic. That might have got it. Use a hole. Going into the pot. Now we've got to take care of our furry friends they've been patiently chilling in the hot tent being good boys so they deserve some sweet potato and venison of course it is so hard cutting this up on this not hard backpack it's just bending this is where a uh, really rigid cutting board would come into play see I like these uh, bending cutting boards because they're flexible 
and they fit anywhere, but they do this in the cold. They crack. Since it's so cold, it's just cracked in half. It's probably going to crack more tomorrow. We'll do half of their venison. The other half will be tomorrow night. crazy for this. I'm going to add my pot of goodies here. It's probably going to cook hot so I'm going to have to move it on and off the uh, heat here. And then I've got to add the boys. I need a little bit of this water. Okay, and then the dogs can go on here. Oh, oops, oops. We'll add there some hot spot. Might all simmer a little slower. Okay, I've got this pot here with melted snow. You can't see it back here but this is gonna be what I boil my noodles in okay. oh yeah all right we have to do the next step very carefully I've got some venison backstrap that I will be adding to our mushrooms, onions, and garlic. But I gotta be really careful not to spill this all over the blood, all over my, uh, my lap. It's pretty frozen, but there's still some liquid blood in there. in there. Be really gentle. It's kind of good that it's frozen. It's a lot of meat. Okay, let's just keep that on an angle like that. Don't want a bunch of blood in the shelter. All right, there's not much blood coming out, which is good. There's going to be way too much food here. It's okay. I can have for a midday snack or something. Or I'll just take it home for funk. This is complicated for me. There we go. You can see I'm making nice little dices of uh, backstrap there. Alright. Let's add this to the pot. I didn't get any blood anywhere. Look at that. Look at me go. Let's add in the venison. Oh yeah, this is gonna be way too much food. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna add some salt. Ooh, and then some pepper. Oh yeah. It'll, it'll look good when it's all done. Right now it doesn't look like a whole lot. <laughs> that is starting to look so good. Our beef's almost brown, or not our beef, it's our venison. I keep saying beef, but our venison's almost brown on the outside. We're almost to the next step. Ooh, that's starting to look good. I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. Now, the magic is going to start to happen. 
gonna add in just a smidge of water. Okay, a decent smidge. A decent smidge. I gotta add this over here to start this boiling. And to our water, we're gonna add a secret ingredient. Fresh Monty turds. Straight from, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's beef base. Oh, add a chunk of that in there. Mmm. It's good stuff right there. Trick I learned from my dad. Cooking with venison, nothing beats beef base. Oh, that is looking so good. I might add a little too much water, but you know, it'll thicken. It's gonna thicken up here. Right now I'm getting my uh, everything, everything's coming together. Oh, that smells so good. Whew. I am beat, man. I'm tired. It is getting late. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm getting ready for bed. What about you boys? Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, these two caught wind of the venison. And now they're... Monty's. <laughs> He's at the ready. <laughs> Monty, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? You smell the treat? Do you want to go for Rugs? Ruger, do you want a treat? Ruger is just still. Monty will do the head shake every time I say it. Do you want a treat? Do you want to go for to the dog park? <laughs> Ruger is just frozen. Over here we've got to add. some egg noodles to this boiling water. Why extra wide egg noodles. Time for a little magic to happen. So this is a little bit of Worcestershire. We're gonna just throw in there. Some paprika. Oh, what's the last thing that would you would ever want to put in a beef stroganoff? Maybe not the last thing, but a big old scoop of sour cream that's frozen. Yep. We'll, we'll just do a little bit more since it's out here. Since it's out here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, now that is starting to look like some beef stroganoff, let me tell you. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna strain these noodles here quick. They didn't really boil at all, but they are done. Okay, now the glorious part. I definitely made a little too much, but uh, add those noodles in. Ooh, okay. Stay, stay, no. So look at that, I put it right, stay. Look at that, <laughs> you don't even know what to do. Okay. <sighs> you guys ready? I'm like a conductor in a band. Ready? <sighs> Ooh, 
this smells so good. Oh, oh, that's okay, my dear. No. Alright. Back up, mister. Holy crap. Alright, that's aggressive eating there, Monty. The venison is definitely overdone. I will not deny it. But I don't care. I knew it was going to be. The flavor. Mmm. I was doing a little uh, test with this thing. Um, I put on two hardwood logs. There's a big, there's a good coal bed in there, uh, mind you. Two hardwood logs. Close the uh, what is it? The uh, dimmer, whatever it is, the draft control thing. I can't think of it right now and I'll remember later and be like, whoa, you sound really stupid. You can't remember. Anyways, I closed it to just a little bit and I made it an hour and a half with those two hardwood logs in the coal bed. So that means I should have more than enough firewood for the night. More than enough. I'll probably put a little bit more than that on every every hour because I want these guys to be able to sleep comfortably without sleeping bags it'd be nice to do that and yeah what do you think you want more don't you you want more don't you yeah <laughs> you're not getting any more it's not going to happen. You can creep as close to me as you want. Are you begging? Are, are you begging? No, it wouldn't be you, would it? Okay, I wasn't sure. I always think when I'm cooking it, oh, it's gonna be too much. Oh, it's gonna be too much. And then I start eating it. And soon I see the bottom of the bowl. Where does it all go? I don't know. Mm. Man, can I put down some food out here? Mm-hmm. What do you think, boy? I don't think they think they got enough. Right? You want some more? You want this? It's a handful of happiness and pets. Yay! <laughs> All right. So, I am just tuckered out and ready for bed. So, what I'm going to do is maneuver a whole bunch of stuff around, clean up some dishes, and attempt to get ready for bed here. So, I'm going to have to just take a bunch of stuff out of the tent, get these dogs maneuvered, let them go outside. It's going to be a process. So I'll check back in with you when I'm ready for bed. Well, okay, so I, I left them with their spot. Uh, 
Ruger's snuggled up right next to me, but I'm putting, I put myself by the door. There's the door right there. And uh, where I'm at is like a little bit of a cold sink with my, with where my knees go down because they're, they're up on like the top spot. And this is, cause I even that all out perfectly. And this is all kind of sinking down. So it's a little bit cooler, but the cold air is coming in a little bit from these sides and down by my feet. So basically I'm going to just be putting wood on here every uh, hour and a half. And uh, I'm going to keep my top half out of my sleeping bag. And if I'm starting to get cold, you know, then they'll probably get cold. But if, if I have my top half hanging out, you know, and I'm not getting cold, there's no way these dogs are getting cold because they're a little bit up higher than me and Ruggs is right next to me. So that's, that, that'll be my way of making sure. So yeah, we'll go off that. If my top half gets cold at all, just I'll bust out their sleeping bags, uh, lay them on them. Right now they seem fine. They seem content. They seem toasty. But I am ready for bed. It is super late. <laughs> this is the latest I've seen of winter camping for sure. <laughs> so I'm going to pass out and go to bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> is an overbite. <laughs> uh, hello, Cindy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh, Rubes. Oh, how you doing, Rubes? Oh, Monty. Oh, Monty. You guys want to go outside? You guys want to go outside? Monty, you want to go outside? So yeah, I was toasty last night. Um, I have a little bit of an issue right now. It's um, my uh, damper, I guess. I think this is called the damper right here. It like popped out and we're having trouble getting it to stay on for some weird reason. So it's drawing a little weird right now. So it's a little bit smoky in here, but it's, it's doing good again. But um, yeah, I was toasty all night. I woke up every hour and a half, put more wood in there. It was toasty all night long. Um, I stayed in my sleeping bag because right here, there's a, there's a little cold air coming in. So it was cold right there and on my feet, but the rest of it was like sweating. So I was toasty, but Rooks was toasty. He was, he was staying right next to me all night long. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to, I'm going to let them go outside. I'm going to lay in here. I'm going to try to get this thing ripping again. It's, it's a little nippy in here right now at the moment, just because it was just drawn funny, but it's like, gunked up or something but i'm gonna work on that and i'm gonna let the dogs out and we'll make some breakfast here in a bit oh yeah um the first thing is this thing it uh you push it on and there's the damper plate in there and it does not stay on so that was the first issue this thing is loose and it kept popping off and anytime i move it this is supposed to stay nice and solid so that you can open and close this so you can control how much air is getting through here and you know creating the flame inside here to create heat well it completely just loosened up and i could i kept pushing it on pushing it on and it just like wouldn't stick it's supposed to catch and hold it so that you can spin it and nothing so i just pulled it out and the plate actually fell into the the wood stove that was the first issue then the second issue we were getting absolutely no draw and the fire wasn't going is because the spark arrestor I have on there completely gunked up. Just caked layer. It was just letting out little bits of smoke and I saw that and I was like, oh, yep, there's the culprit. Ripped that off and the flame got going instantly. So I'm gonna have to figure out that damper thing. It's gonna work completely fine without it on there because I had it straight up and down anyways the whole night. I wasn't, I was just letting the, the heat go. But, um, that's definitely how you, you'll burn less wood if you control that but it just wasn't working it wouldn't it was just what it was doing is it was wanting to lay flat the whole time 
when it was and that was helping the smoke just billow inside here and it was smoky for a bit but now we're just relaxing with the two pups right boys I let them go outside go to the bathroom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook up some breakfast here maybe some coffee and then we are going to go for a day hike so let's let's make some breakfast boys you guys hungry you guys hungry I'll tell you what is hot in here now it's too hot in here at least where I'm at right here where these guys where their faces are it's like a nice temperature but right here it's just like oh, very warm I'm gonna open up this oh that's hot got a pot of snow here for my coffee Get my bag of goodies <clears throat> we're gonna have some nice frozen eggs Ooh. I put them in a ziplock so that they because they explode when they freeze instead of using a plastic bottle I just put them in here and then I've got some homemade venison sausage from back in 2017 me and Funk harvested this and we made it I, I, I mixed it myself So that is all there is to making this beautiful, delicious venison sausage. <sighs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make some breakfast muffins here. Put in a brick of frozen sausage. Get that on there. We'll get the eggs in the pan with some butter as soon as those thaw up a little bit. <coughs> this is the calmest I've ever seen Ruger in this tent. He is just chillaxing. I mean, he wants to be outside. We're going to go outside, guys. We're just going to make some breakfast. We're going to keep you nice and warm because it's cold out there. It's cold out there. Just hanging out my long johns. <laughs> if I stood up, you could see my frog butt. Yeah, but I'm a, a, last night I woke up, you know, like I said, every hour and a half hour, I was waking up a lot. I uh, That's normal for me. I'm a toss and turner. I'm a light sleeper, especially out in the woods <clears throat> with Monty and the dogs. I'm always, I just wake up, check on them. How are they doing? Are they, are they shivering? Is it cold in here? You know, I just, I constantly... It's just like a habit. You guys want a treat? You guys want a treat? Sit, 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 Rugus. Sit. Or lay down too. Still good. Sit. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. <laughs> good boy, Rugs. Look at that. Professional. That's professional. Monty didn't move. I shouldn't reward him, but Monty's like, yeah, you're gonna give that to me. I ain't doing anything, but you're gonna give that to me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Monty. Monty's used to sitting around. He's totally content doing that. Oh, is that a downward dog, Monty? Oh, it's a downward dog? Good job. A dog doing a downward dog. Yeah, he's, this guy's content sitting wherever, warmth, food, he's easy to please, very easy to please, right? These uh, eggs here, <clears throat> by far the most appetizing thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, <laughs> just slimy wetness. <laughs> so for coffee, I always make it the same way, I use my little Mugmate filter sits inside your cup you pour your grounds right in that little filter and you pour your water through it or to the side it doesn't matter it steeps it out so we're just gonna take and dump our grounds in here and you just dump as many as you want 
I like a nice strong cup of something that'll put a a pep in my step. We're gonna we're gonna fill it like half. Yeah, that's some that's some coffee right there. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, sausage is coming along. Eggs are starting to slowly starting to resemble scrambled eggs. When I was recording yesterday, recording, uh, cooking up that stroganoff, my back was starting to get sore because I'm like standing up here hunched over, and I'm a tall guy, so me hunched over, just like mess with the camera and like knee stern, I kind of want to just sit and do it. <laughs> so that's what, that's what we're doing for breakfast. We're getting lazy on breakfast. That's okay. That's okay. It's all learning experience. All right, I need my water here. So I did, uh, I closed up the damper on the front end. I See, now I don't know if this is the damper. I'm pretty sure this one's the damper, the one on the pipe. But there's one on the front too, and I put that so it's just a sliver, and that seems to be doing pretty good um, as far as controlling the heat. I put a bunch of wood in there, and it's not like insane, but it's just like the slightest little sliver. Gotta be careful not to burn my hands here. But it's a slice of sliver, and it's controlling it pretty well, so I might not even need that damper right now. I want, I definitely going to want that in the future, but for tonight, I might not need to take it apart. And I might be able to load it up with wood, and I might be able to come back to a coal bed. <clears throat> now, the trick with this is you only let it steep for, like, a few minutes. You let it go too long, and it gets pretty bitter. Strong, but bitter. Won't deny that I've done that 75% of the time that I made coffee, but <clears throat> that's okay. I still enjoy it. Don't know if you've already put this together, but we were making uh, venison sausage egg and cheese muffins for breakfast. A little repeat from when I went out with Quincy's and Jake. Oh, it's starting to come along. See, I've got some big, thick pieces of sausage there. That's some, that's some protein for the day. I've got my egg sludge. <laughs> it's uh, good boy. Oh, I got you. I got your butt. I got your butt. Oh, oh. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I tricked him. He's like, not right now, Dad. Ruger's a lot daintier than Monty is. He's easier to cradle. Because he's about 20 pounds lighter. Right, Monty? This would be chaos if I did this to Monty in here. Oh, you're so precious. If only he had a thicker coat like Monty, he could come out more. But, you know, Funk's doing me a solid here. Funk's at home. She allowed me to take him out. Um, you know, she's got a... She's got to go to bed tonight by herself. No puppy to keep her company. Go ahead. Go ahead, Roots. So, it's going to be far and few between when he comes out for, you know, camp and winter camp and stuff. Right? You know, we love our dogs, like I was saying. And uh, we just like having a companion around. Like, I out here camping by myself. I was by myself. You know, it'd be fine. But when you have a dog there... It's so much, it's so much better, like, even though, you know, he speaks with his eyes. It's just companionship, you know. Time to get our English muffins here a little warmed up. Right, boys? Oh, no, I dropped it in the snow. Perfect. See if my coffee's too hot. Mmm. Perfect drinking temperature. Oh, you can taste. Pine needles. Got some pine needle flavor. It's like it's like uh, outdoor coffee creamer. <sighs> Ooh. Oh yeah, black coffee. Not in batter. Uh oh. Slightly burnt. Slightly burnt. 
Uh oh. Well, you know what? We're gonna take a little char on that one. That's okay. That's okay. That's a okay. <laughs> that one's less burnt. This one's we'll so we'll mix and match here. Okay. So first thing we need to do is add on, yes I know, I know, some uh, crappy American cheese. And I know, uh, I've said this before, but there's there's like two or three things that I like this crappy American cheese on. One of them is a sausage McMuffin. I couldn't tell you why. It's just the way it is. large sausage portions okay set that off near the door and then we've got to do one more thing here yes that's right we're going to double up on our crappy American cheese go Ooh -wee. I'm gonna let these sit for just a second and let this cheese just get slightly melty oh but I don't want it to touch all right I'm gonna have to eat them soon I'm gonna have to actually flip it oh, we had this getting melty all right let me divvy up the boys eggs and it's eating time Should we do the conductor thing? You guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's bite into this glorious, pretty much, it's a sausage sandwich. It's got an inch of sausage on there. <laughs> Whoa. Mmm. This is some stick to your ribs, boob. Mm. Oh. 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 So. I'm going to eat these up. Um, we're going to chill around for a little while because I don't want to take them on a nice extensive hike after they've just eaten all of us. So we're going to sit here for a minute, probably give it a half hour, 45. Um, then we're going to bundle up, go for a nice three hour hike or so, come back, cut up some firewood, relax and make dinner. That's what we're going to do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, little sniffers. <gasps> oh, oh, it is a beautiful wintry scene out here. Yeah, this thing, this is the spark arrestor. This goes up top. It was completely gunked up. Oh, well, looks, looks like you just need a little cleaning. I can put it back in there later. I'm not gonna leave it while we go. I just got the thing shut really, really small. Okay, now I'm gonna tidy up camp here. We're gonna go for a nice little hike. 
go for a walk, Monty? All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Ruger, where are you at? Let's go for a walk. Come on. Go for a walk. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. We are leaving camp behind for a few hours. We're going to go adventure and see what the wintry forest is about. See what we can find. See if we can find that perfect stick to throw for the boys here. Da boys. <laughs> da boys. Man, this is just beautiful and wintry out. What do you boys think? Where you go? Where you go? Huh, Monty? Huh, Ruger? Good boys. Oh, man. I'm just loving this wintry weather right now. This is a beautiful walk, hike, whatever you want to call it. Snowshoe. Um, one thing I really love about this wintry weather is when you got snow on the ground, you're snowshoeing, you can just aimlessly wander into the woods, go whatever direction your heart desires, and uh, yeah, you got a pack trail back to wherever you were. So I'm just walking through the woods, just enjoying the beautiful scenery. There's so much snow on the trees and whatnot. I'm going through the thicker parts too. I'm trying to just weed through paths and whatnot because the snow is not as deep here for these guys. You know, it's definitely not near as deep as that uh, overnight when Monty got all the snowballs. That was like two and a half feet deep. This is, through this thicker stuff, it's like a foot deep. So they're fine. Maybe it's a foot and a half, but either way, Monty's trailing. Monty, you like trailing? Yeah, he likes trailing. Who wants a stick? Who wants a stick? Who wants the stick? Who wants the stick? Oh, Monty. All right, got a nice little path for him. He's ready? Bring it here. Give me this. Oh. Ready? Whew. So we're about, let's see here. Hour 20 into our hike. So, um, probably gonna head, throw the stick for him and head back. It's probably only gonna take me like a half hour to get back because when you have a packed trail, you just cruise. But either way, I, I wanted to get him moving for the day, you know. It's kind of like a second home, you know, for these guys. You know, when they're at home, they have to chill. I mean, Ruger has toys he can play with, but they still have to chill for the most part. And when they're in the hot tent, they have to, that's their second home. They have to chill in a confined space on one spot. <laughs> no. They get spoiled with treats. They're having a good time. They love it. Rug, I've never seen Rugs chill so much, though, as he has in the hot tent. But yeah, I'm gonna throw the stick for him and then we're gonna get back, uh, cut up a bunch of firewood. We actually had extra firewood from last night. We had more than enough, so I'm, st I'm thinking I'll do roughly the same amount since we're gonna be there earlier today. 
and I gotta make sure to clean off that spark arrestor before bed this time. Like right before I go to bed, I'm gonna go clean it off. So yeah, that's the plan, Stan. That's the plan. What do you guys think? Who wants this thing? You want it? Want it, Muzzy? Want it, Muzzy? Ready? 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 Yeah? You frosty bunny. Monty will never get it from Ruger. It's okay. I mean, he'll steal it, but he'll never beat him to the stick. And then they both pull it back, doing twice as much work as it normally takes. <laughs> Silly dogs. We still got a little bit of heat coming out of the uh, thing. Like I was thinking, took us only a half hour to get back because I kind of poked around as I went in. So now we're gonna we're probably gonna chill for an hour before I cut wood. Let's get warmed up. see if we can keep this thing alive ah. so the fire is going good there were some coals in there I think they would have lasted another I want to say maybe half hour 45 but you never know so we're just relaxing come here come here Rooks come here Rooks up 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 come on come on come on oh come on big guy This is what you wanted, Rooks? <laughs> no. You gotta, you gotta sit. There we go. We've got a lap dog. A literal lap dog. Yeah, so we're just gonna warm up for a good hour here and uh, relax. I'm a little sleepy. <laughs> Not gonna deny it. So I'm just gonna kinda chill in my chair maybe doze off sitting here I will see but these guys are definitely uh, need a little refresher after that walk hike whatever you want to call it they're both tired Ruggs is he's ready to sleep in my lap <laughs> look at this guy but Monty is a little hog here that's probably why he wants to sleep in my happy Monty's <laughs> plopped down in the center of their bed and is not moving. Here, I'll show you. There's Monty. He's plopped down right in the center. Monty, you gonna move? No, I don't think so. All right, okay. Rugs will just stay in my lap, I guess. I took a little nap, like a 20 minute, 30 minute nap with these guys. These guys all passed out. Rugs back there. Yeah. He's always ready to get out and play. Monty, I don't know if he was... Monty? Monty might want to just stay in there. But anyways, we've got like two and a half hours of sunlight. So I'm going to collect a bunch of firewood and throw the stick for the dogs and stuff. And you know, let them, let them tucker themselves out some more, get some more energy out, and then we're gonna be bunkering down for the night. But I've already got a ton here a bunch of pieces that I just didn't cut up yesterday so I only have to collect like another two two three pieces and I'll, I will need more firewood today because um, I'm gonna be sitting in there earlier than I was last night but that's okay so it's time to collect some firewood
bonus piece. So this right here is what I'm after. That's a nice chunk of wood. Mm-hmm. And there's that right there too. This is everything I need right here. Okay. Watch out, Rooks. Go over here, Rooks. Over here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Stay over there, Roos. Is that, are you done? There we go. Well, I might have grabbed too much, uh, too many logs, but that's okay. I'll cut up what I need. Right, Monty? I think Monty's ready to go back inside. <laughs> All right, Monty, we'll let you go back in in a minute, okay? I promise. <laughs> As you can see, the sun is setting. I have been sawing wood for hmm, an hour, hour and a half, hour. I don't know, but it's not a bunch of wood. I've got these end pieces, or it gets a little too short. Set up most of that most of this one I've got myself a nice pile um, I think I'm good for now I think I'm good I think I'm gonna let the dogs out go potty they've just been relaxed and they're such good boys here I'll give you a peek at the boys the boys oh Hi Rugs. Hi, come here. What are you doing sneaking out of the tent? What are you doing? What are you doing, guy? What are you doing, huh? Well, that one's not relaxing anymore. Oh, the other one I know is just chilling probably fast asleep. Oh yeah, hey Monty. Oh, it's gonna get my lens. Oh no, fog, no. Blasphemy. the bad throw. Bad throw. Oh yeah. It's nippy. My arm. I saw some serious wood right there. I'll tell you what. I'm proud of my little pile. Alright, you need help boys. I'm on! 
So, yeah, I've been keeping them pretty busy other than uh, they sat in the tent for a while just to warm up. Wow. Little stinkers. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Monty. Yeah. Warmed up for a while, a couple times. Been throwing the stick for them. They got two stick throwing sessions for the day. A nice long walk. Ruggs has been running around. I think he would play until he froze to death. I think that's what kind of guy he is. He would literally just keep playing, slow down, and then all of a sudden freeze to death. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have all that wood cut up before dark. Oops. Now I can just relax. So, just because the sun's setting, as you can see, it was set, is, it's been, dusk is lingering today. But, uh, yeah, just gonna throw the stick for him a little bit more. And then we're gonna just chill. I'm gonna relax. I'm probably gonna sit down for a little bit, read my book as the night g creeps in. It was a full moon last night, I think. Or maybe it's tonight, maybe it's yesterday, I don't know, but it was bright out all night long. Yeah, anyway, so just gonna keep throwing the stick for him until it's getting dark. Not too much longer. Boys want this? Can you twirl? 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 All right, go right. Go left. Go left again. Oh, not roll over. Right? No. Oh, that's, you can't combine things, Ruger. Sit. Sit pretty. Dance. 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 Come on. Come on, dance. Dance. Oh, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Let's go inside. Come on, Monty. Come on, Ruger. Come on. Come on, Ruggs. Come on, Ruggs. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead. go, go, go. Go ahead. Come on, Monty. Come on. Let's go. Good boy. Monty just keeps sleeping right in the center, so I have to make him go over to the corner here because he's a little he's a little sleeping pad hog. Yeah, yeah, you mister. You mister. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want to give you any room, Rogues. Oh Monty, you like your chin scratches? Oh yeah. I bet you do. Yes you do, yes you do. Oh Rogues likes his scratch too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oops. Anyways, you can see my firewood pile. Yes, that is all hardwoods. Yep. It's like twice as big as last night's. <laughs> I think I cut a little too much firewood, but you know what? That ain't gonna hurt. That can't hurt anything. Now I can just roast it, keep it toasty in here. I mean, I was yesterday. I didn't really let it get cold at all. Burn wood all night long, all day. I do gotta make sure to, uh, clean off that spark arrestor or I will be having problems in the middle of the night with it clogging up but yeah it's crazy you wouldn't think that um, right here right here is cold it's cold right under like half an inch under this thing this burning hot hot stove it's cold because remember I got that false bottom and heat rises so like Anything below this, you know, is a lot colder. This is okay. This right here feels warm. But if you go directly below where there's this air, where the heat has no place to go other than just up or down or whatever, there's just space, it's cold. So my feet are actually pretty cold sitting right here. I'm gonna have to take them out of my boots. But tonight for dinner, we are making a venison stew. So I just gotta cut some stuff up throw it in a pot and simmer it oh Monty's groaning all right I think it's time to start a stew I'm gonna prepare stuff on the floor this time I'm not gonna do that thing where I do it on my backpack because that's dangerous okay now I need some tools this is from 2016 that's old that's some old meat okay I've got a venison round here 
Nice chunk of venison round. Let's add a little water to this pot here. It's got some schmutz in there. That's okay. Now I'm probably going to have leftovers of this stew. There's a good chunk of meat going into this. So we will see. The meat is frozen solid. <laughs> uh, that one can go on like that. The rest of these, we're going to cut these in half. See we got perfect little frozen cubes of <laughs> venison. Uh, It'll cook. That's all that matters. Okay. We've got our pot of frozen chunks there. Now we've got to add one more ingredient to this masterpiece. That's right, you guessed it. Monty turds. Look at those Monty turds. Collected those fresh today. What the heck? Let's add a little bit more. Okay. You don't want too much. Eh, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay. Now let's get this simmer in here. I'm also going to cut up the other stuff while we're waiting. Then I can just throw it in later. We've got some frozen onion. Onion. You know what we're actually going to do is we're going to use the, the puppers pan for now because when they need to start cooking in this one, that's when I will add most of the stuff for mine. Keep that there. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, frozen carrots. Those two ends look a little brown. I don't like them. I don't like them. Putting them in the garbage bag. I don't like the way they're looking at me. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing home some of this stew today. Or tomorrow. Definitely. Because I'm adding two potatoes, too. That's okay. It's going to stay perfectly frozen in this below zero night. Okay, all right. And then, let's see here, what else? Puppy dog sweet potato. Well, this is weird. Since it's cut in half, it's like not frozen. It's like squishy. I don't know if that is because, uh, I don't know. All right, now we need garlic. Let's use my spatula to flatten it. To the pole. To the pole. Add it right to the pole. Okay, we've got the stew a simmering, simmering hard, more like boiling. But I did add add a little bit too much water to the stew, too much stew water. Stew water, stew, 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 stew. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's okay. The meat's got a ways to go. It'll boil out. I'm just stirring it every little bit here just to make sure nothing really. Ah, oh, I just touched the pipe with my hand. Ah. Oh! So yep, and then I've got more more drinking water for us or whatever cooking water going here. The boys, uh, sweet potatoes is under that block of ice. Just put a little snow in there. They're just relaxing. 
Brooks. Did you hear the song about the tree? Monty heard the song about the tree. And it went to the dog park. <laughs> Gets you every time, Monty. Do you want to go for to the dog park? The tree? Do you want to eat a tree at the dog park? Do you want to eat a tree at the dog park? Do you want a tree? <laughs> You're such a good boy. You little turd nuggets. Alright, this has been simmering for close to, I want to say almost an hour. So now we're going to add in our onions. Let these cook a little and we're going to start to add other ingredients. Of course, got to add some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Let's just pour this out. Should be good. Some black pepper. I like a good amount of pepper. I like pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. There we go. You can go play, but you gotta come back. I'll give you five minutes. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Whoa, whoa, wee wow. Alright, Monty, go ahead. Ooh, you're a heavy load. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Monty, you're gonna burn if you don't go. <laughs> I don't know what they want out there. It's freezing out there. Oh. Yep, so, just cooking stew, you know, stewing, we're, st we're snow stewing. So I've definitely learned a few things uh, with, with the hot tent here. Big one that I've learned is you have less space than you think you do. I thought I was going to come in here with three dogs, three sleeping pads, this hot stove, my stuff in here, and no, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I was wrong. I mean, it's working. We're making it work, but it's pretty cramped. One of them are ready to come back in. You guys want to come back inside? Come on, Monty Ruger. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Monty, come here. Come on, Monty. Come on. Come back inside, come on. Come on, Monty. Monty, come here. Come on. Good boys. They're back. <laughs> Was it cold out there? Huh? Was it cold out there? Yeah, it better. It, it sure was cold out there. I know it was. I know it was. You wanna come up? You wanna come up in my lap? Oh, yes he does. Yes he does. Rogue, you're such a dainty little feather. And Monty's a dense turd nugget. They're hunting. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Monty? <laughs> Get back. Get back, you little stinkers. Get back. Okay, back to stewing. I don't know what you guys want. You guys want to go back outside? Do you guys want to go back outside? You want to go back outside? Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa, wee, wow. Alright, and they're back outside. Now, I have a theory that these guys don't like to, to bark in confined spaces like this. Let's see if that's a true theory. Speak. 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 
He's making like a silent bark. Speak. 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 His face. Speak. 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 What did he speak? Speak. Speak. Speak! Come on, speak! Tell me something! Speak! Speak! Is Timmy in the well? Timmy in the well? Is there a fire in the barn? Is there a fire in the barn? Oh! Alright, you guys can just have him. Alright, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. It is now time to add the last ingredients to our snow stew and hope that this moisture boils, boils out in the meantime. And potatoes. Okay, this time I mean it. There is no possible way I could eat this this all this stew. That is just my stomach isn't even that big. There's no way. We are taking home some stew. We'll give Funk a little sample of the stew. Stew boys. Stew boys. Stew boys. Stew boys. I'm just going to add one last thing. Just a little bit of flour. Thicken her up. Let's see what that does. Uh, it's getting clumpy. You on a tree at the dog park? Roots, you got one? Alright, it's time to take it off and uh, let it cool down. The potatoes and the carrots are all forking through. So, uh, the stew is done. It's got a little bit, a little bit extra moisture, but that's okay. I don't mind. It'll still be delicious, and I will devour a whole bunch. The thing I'm gonna do, though, before I start devouring, is stick it outside and let it cool down because I don't want to burn my mouth off and the dogs is all done theirs is cool enough too all right cool down time <laughs> it's hard getting us all in on this in this close quarters let me grab my pot of stew here this is there's not even a chance not even a remote chance that I'm going to eat all of this. Alright, let's get you a little view of this stew. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. I let it sit outside for a good 10 minutes. I promise. I know it's still boiling hot or whatever, but uh, I just can't help myself. I mean, look at it. Okay. All right, boys. Go ahead. All right, Ruger. Ruger. All right, back up. Here, I'm gonna help you out. Back up. Back up. Get up. Up. Get back. All right. Stay, Monty. All right, go ahead, Rugs. Monty, get back. All right, go ahead, Monty. <sighs> it's too, it's too much trying to fit him into this shot. You're just going to have to imagine them eating. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Mmm.
No! No, no, no! No, no, Monty, get it! Get it, Monty! Go ahead! Monty just spilled his right underneath my chair. Ruger is sticking his face on the furnace. And I just ate a potato that was too hot. <sighs> oh, all the aggression going into this eating, guys. Just enjoy it. <laughs> did you get it all, Monty? You did. Good job. Now finish off your bowl. Hmm. I wish it was cooled down, because then I could just inhale it, but... <sighs> you, you guys are nuts. <sighs> Monty, you think you're going to get some of my stew? You think so? Hmm. Hmm, I don't think so. Rugs, you're not getting any either. Look at that, you got his little nose down there and you got this nose right up here. Hmm. It's so hot. I'm gonna have to put it back outside. There's nothing I can do. I can't eat it fast enough. Should be ready to just consume now. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's still hot, but not burning my mouth hot. I'm also very tired, um, waiting for the stew, <laughs> it's definitely got me sleepy, so, I'm gonna finish up eating as much as I can, I'm definitely not eating all of us, and then I'm gonna get ready for bed, and I will check back in with you guys when I'm ready for bed. Much to my own surprise, I almost ate all the stew. <laughs> There's just like broth left. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm tired and I'm full. I can't believe I ate. I didn't eat all the broth, like the water and the, there's little chunks of stuff, but uh, I ate all the bits of carrots, meat, and potatoes, and onions. <laughs> I'll tell you what. So I'm very full. I did not think I was gonna get that down. I just started, I just all of a sudden, there it goes, there it is, it's gone. But these guys are out, Monty's. Oh, well, I just woke him up, but he's, yeah. You can see that he is out. Oh. There's some life in there. Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. And Ruger's out, too, so. That was fun. That was a good day. But I am ready for bed, so I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Rooks. Don't do it. No, don't do it. <clears throat> oh, good morning, Monty. Monty's he's cool with just sleeping all day. Oh, I was toasty here last night. I uh, severely overestimated how much wood I needed. And I was just putting it in, I was just stuffing it in there and it was just ripping. 
It was warm. So, um, it's morning, and I don't think I'm putting any more wood in the stove. Uh, the last wood I put in was like an hour, hour and a half ago. Don't do it, Rogues. Don't do it, Rogues. Don't. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to kind of let it burn out and start packing here. And we're pretty much just going to get packed up and get out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up here, put on a little bit. Oh, Monty's got the morning position. Monty. Oh. Oh, we caught, we caught a glimpse of it. Oh, Ruger, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, like I was saying. So I'm going to put on some layers, get it all packed up in the tent here. Um, everything, get it all ready to go, and then I uh, will, then I will, uh, pull down the tent and the hot stove. So I'm gonna get up and start packing. <sighs> Let's do it. Tell you what, I'm glad it's just these dogs in here, because I sure stank. <laughs> right, Rugus? I stink. I stink. <laughs> Oh yeah! Uh, hey, that's my firewood. Hey! That's my firewood. Oh! Got it back. <laughs> Tricked ya! Okay. It's time to start packing away. Yeah, I brought, brought my Crocs in case I had so much room and it was all packed out I could just walk outside to pee. Yeah, um, I just uh, used them one time when my feet were cold. <laughs> well, that's gunked up. There's a lot of ash in here. Oh, Monty, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I almost dunked Monty. She's on. Okay, it looks like that's everything. So that was a fun trip. That was uh, first time using the, you know, hot tent and first time taking Rugs out here winter camping. I think he did great. I didn't need to put them in a sleeping bag at night. They were, it was toasty in there. They were perfectly warm. We, they were running around. They had lots of fun. So 
you know, cooked up good food, had a great time, learned a few things about the hot tent. It'll probably go a little smoother next time. So as always guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on boys, let's go.